All right, it's your boy Donald Tate III, which is my slave name, and we'll get to that later. But we gonna keep it real. When I talk, it's just gonna be real. I'm gonna be doing this with my wife, and she gonna ask all type of questions because a lot of things are going on in the world and people not keeping it real. Everybody one-sided and nobody's telling the truth. It doesn't matter whether it's uh, a YouTuber or uh, somebody from Fox News or CNN, they're all liars. So we're gonna talk about everything in the world and we're gonna keep it real. So what you wanna talk about? Um, what is your perception on the whole Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter. Wow. Uh, black lives do matter. They do matter. I think that movement is very important, not because I'm black, and we're not black, we're actually brown skinned. We're gonna get into all that, but that, that movement, it matters. It matters because we have to focus on the issue, and the issue is that more black people are dying than whites. And people are gonna do the statistics and say, oh, well, more white people are being shot and those type of things and allegations because we really don't know statistics because they lie. Um, but if we go off that, that is true. But what race is dying the most? And that would be blacks. So that's why black lives matter because we're dying. We're just not getting, you know, uh, a bullet in the, in the knee. We're getting bullets in the head, like, and it's just uncalled for. Do you feel like cops are killing people innocently? Definitely. Why, why do you think that? I think that because, well, I know it because people are not doing anything. It's no probable cause. They're just doing it out of frustration and anger. Some of these cops, most of these cops, 85% of these cops were bullied in high school. You can tell because they have um, a sense of urgency that's not needed. They have the, the badge that, you know, they should not have. They just can sign up to be an officer. It's very easy. Um, I've talked to them, a few guys that were officers, but these were African Americans. And I've talked to some that, you know, were Caucasians. But uh, the moral of the story is that these guys are maniacs. You know what I mean? And I know they're going to say not all cops are bad. And that's false. Because whenever you sign up to kill someone, it's bad. It doesn't matter who, what, when, where, how, because all gang bangers, all bloods and all crips, they're bad. You know what I mean? They don't get any like good conversations or good deeds said about them or nothing. They're just bad, you know? So that's how I feel about police officers. They're the biggest gang. They have always been the biggest gang. Uh, there were police officers back when Jesus Christ uh, roamed and walked the earth. And that's who killed Jesus. So do you feel like if someone has a gun in their possession that that's an immediate threat to officers? No, because what's the point of having a gun if that's a threat to officers? We should carry the officers around on our hip then. We have guns to protect ourselves. That's why we have guns. And uh, they're not following uh, proper protocol or procedures. You know, they just showing up and shooting and killing when they're the public servants, not us. You have to serve us, you have to help us. It's not, police officers are not there to protect their lives. They're there and they've been put in uh, a position that they're in to protect us, uh, the civilians, the innocent people, the people that are being harmed. If it's a guy next door and I'm scared of him and I call you, you don't show up and kill me. You show up to see what the problem is and see if you can resolve it and fix it. And uh, they don't do that. They just show up and they just shoot and kill and they don't care. And it's not about color either. We're gonna get into that too. So how do you feel um, about the way that they're going about their protests? Do you feel like there's a proper way and an improper way? And how would you go about it? The Black Lives Matter protest? Yes. I think it is a little bit of both. And I'm gonna say uh, improper first because it's, it's not, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And it's coming across as if only black lives matter. And because if I was out there protesting, which I need to be, but I feel I need to do more and I have to say every life does matter. But when you say only black lives matter or black lives matter, um, that's just um, 
it's, it's just not good. It, it doesn't resonate to the other races. Why would someone want to help you when you say only my color matters? And then those are the ignorant protesters. You got people saying all the whites in the back. That's just ignorant. Why would you, someone's there to help you. Why would you uh, say all whites to the backs and blacks in the front? Like you're, that's segregation right then and there. And you're being hypocritical and that is causing stir around the country and they know it. And it's people out there that's just, they're doing that for themselves. You know, those people are angry that their lives not going the way it should be going. And they want to point the finger at uh, the so-called white man. Um, and that's not right. Now, the positive um, thing about Black Lives Matter is that they go out there and protest and stick up for black people, which they need to do. And uh, I definitely commend them on that. Um, and I recommend that. I recommend that everybody go out there and uh, protest and, and, and uh, stand up. We have to stand up because those people cannot die for nothing. You know, um, I've seen all the videos. Um, I actually talked to my wife about it. This was years ago. And uh, it was a prophecy because I've seen it. I've seen it. And things with cops and stuff like that happened to me, you know. And I knew it would only get worse because when you study them and you know the history of cops, and uh, just the government, you know, actually cops are just children. They're children of the government. You know, they do what their dad tell them. And the government tells them to do that. The government says it's okay to kill, you know, kill them. You know, we have to have the almighty power, the all the power we need it all, you know. And if they show any um, restraint or they go against you, just kill them because they're not needed. And that's not right. And 100% of black people are dying. Do you feel like the name of the protest should be changed from Black Lives Matter to All Lives Matter? No, I don't because that defeats the purpose of black people dying. We have to acknowledge that and understand it. Black people are dying, you know, and it's not a game. And I feel as though uh, Fox and CNN and all these other corrupt news stations, they're just, they need to, they're pumping it because they need to stay alive. They're, they're, they're literally vampires to the Black Lives Matter uh, movement because they're just sucking the blood out of them to stay alive. They're vampires. And we need to stop um, talking to them. We need to just don't even mention them. Like, forget the news, forget Fox and all that. Like, they're just, they're just demons, and we know that. But no, the name should definitely stay the same. Why do you feel as if all cops are bad? Why do I feel if all cops are bad? Because like I said, if you sign up to kill someone, I feel you're just bad in general. Because in the Bible, um, it makes no exceptions for killing, you know, and I'm a spiritual person. So, uh, but if you do it worldly and you need protection, you know, cops have to put their lives in, in danger to save others and things like that. Worldly, that would be a good thing, but it's not. And then the cops that sit there and let it happen, they're just as worse as the cops that's doing it. Because to me, it seems like they're getting some type of enjoyment out of it, you know? And why don't they fear for their lives when the cops is shooting innocent people? I know if I was next to a killer and I wasn't a killer, I would be afraid. I don't care if that's my brother, friend. I don't care if that's my wife, whoever it is. I know I would be afraid and I would do something about it. But they don't. They justify it and they lie. What would you tell someone if they were in this situation and the cop was getting aggressive and trying to take action to kill them? To be calm, to be still, don't move, uh, play by their rules for the moment because if you play by their rules for the moment, you can see the next day, you know? And I understand that people, you know, they're tired. They don't want to follow the rules because the rules have been altered and broken by the people who set the rules. You know, rules supposed to stay in place. You know, you can't change rules, you know, and that's what they do. So I would tell them just to play by the rules, but if you if you fed up, I understand, and you do what you gotta do. So just don't risk your life. Just go with the flow, do what you're supposed to do, and then take proper actions after. 
Yeah, that way we'll have your back. You know, we, we need to keep you alive. We need to keep people alive, you know, black or white. It's not a, a, a racial thing, even though 95% uh, of officers are Ku Klux Klan members, and we know that, or they have some type of uh, racial hate towards minorities, blacks, and uh, anyone that isn't, you know, Caucasian, they, they hate us. How many altercations have you had with the police? When I was old, when I young or old? Younger. Uh, at least, I would say maybe 10. Do you feel like you had unfair treatment? Um, definitely. That's without a doubt. And why do you feel that way? All right, let me give you a perfect example. There was a, a time where these guys were fighting and, um, you know, me, I, when I was younger, I was a fighter. You know, that's what I did. I, I fought, you know, uh, because I was just young and out of control, you know, because no father saying crap that, you know, we always hear, no father and stuff, broken home. Uh, good mother, but broken home and things like, and good stepfather, I gotta acknowledge those two people. Uh, but broken home and things like that, so I was a fighter and I was just ready to get it on. And uh, my brother, he was, we were defending someone actually that was getting jumped. Um, and uh, you know, my brother stepped in, and you know, if my brother stepped in, I'm gonna step in at the time, that's how I thought, you know, uh, gotta be my brother's keeper. And the guy didn't wanna fight, he chose to get a gun, you know, and uh, when he started shooting at us, you know, we were the victims. And uh, the cops showed up, and we, you know, we were the, um, the, the villains, we were the guys shooting with, without a gun, and uh, I think my brother called them. You know, I, I don't like dealing with cops, so I would never call them. But my brother called them, and then they showed up, and it was get down, and uh, SWAT, they, they had SWAT, uh, you know, gear, and uh, ride shields, and you would have thought we were, was in uh, Afghanistan, the way they were treating us. It was like crazy, and I was, of course, the first one. And so I'm sitting there cussing them out and things like that, and my brother's shouting and yelling and things like that. I was supposed to be the first, like, generation's uh, Oscar Grant, you know, but it was a lot of people out there. Uh, but one, one, one move, one false mistake they claim, I had my hands down, I did all that back then, and I didn't die, thank God. But yeah, guns in my face and everything, and uh, thrown, you know, floor, get down, everything, get on your knees and just treat it like an animal. And uh, we were the ones being attacked. It's crazy. So basically, you guys were the victim, but you got treated as the villain because they showed up and automatically assumed that you all were the ones trying to attack someone. Yep, definitely. That's exactly what happened because they seen we were of color. And it was like, it's them, you know? And, and that's what I'm saying by uh, racial profiling. So you do think that ra racism still exists in this day and age? No, I don't think it. I know it. I know it. It's, it, it, it's, it's here. It, it will never die either. It's just like how we need uh, food to live, um, meat, and things like that. We need it to live. Uh, that's, that's racism, you know, unless we go vegan, which is not possible because the whole system they have made for us to, um, you know, survive. It's not going, racism will always be here. So do you feel like it's racism against just African Americans or is it racism and profiling against people who do not coincide with their rules and their system? Exactly what the last thing you said is just racial profiling against anybody. I feel um, a white man can hate another white man. It's not, it's not black versus white. That day is old, it's over, like it's, if you if you are not um, being controlled, um, then you're just automatically the bad guy. You're the villain. You're the terrorist. It doesn't matter what you believe in and uh, who you look up to. Uh, if they're not being controlled by the government, then um, you're the bad guy. You're the guy that needs to die or be locked up. So do you have any final statements or anything that you would like to say? Um... To who exactly? Just everyone. Everyone who could possibly be put in this situation. To stay sharp. Stay sharp, be smart, study. Um, 
don't don't be don't be a hypocrite don't be a follower either you know what i mean get out there see the world see what's going on peep game and understand what's going on just don't go off of what somebody say you know that's what's going on now is this they believe the officers over what it could be um 10 different people of all colors it doesn't matter two officers they're going to take the officer word it's people literally dying and they're going and taking their word even though it's on footage they didn't follow proper protocol or nothing but it's just because they got the golden badge and the badge is not even golden it's brass actually um but they wear it like it's you know a honor thing like they're happy they know they can like kill for free it's like a video game to them like they literally are playing uh target practice with us and that's crazy you know and we have to stand up black and and whites and uh native americans and chinese and mexico who, whoever you are like just we got to stand up to them that's because it's you're supposed to be united states of america it's it's not we're not united in anything we if we keep doing one-sided things then the outcome will be one-sided and for the caucasian people um, cause I hate calling y'all white cause you're not white. You're not the, the, the color of milk and we're not black. We're not, uh, the, the color of uh, coal. We're actually brown skinned people. You guys are Caucasians. Um, I appreciate all the Caucasians that stick up for us. This, this is not just now they've been sticking up for us back then in the slavery days. They hid us, they helped us, they fed us, you know, is they died for us. You guys forgot. I know y'all seen the Martin Luther King movie where two Caucasians were shot because they was uh, sticking up for uh, Martin Luther King and things like that. Like, what, like Caucasians have always been helpful and believe it or not, we need them to survive like they need us to survive. That's why they're out there protesting with you because they believe in you. If you tell them to get in the back, you're, you're ignorant. You're just as ignorant and evil as the cops. It's, it's crazy that you, that's that's just it doesn't make no sense you know if, if I'm hungry and someone's willing to feed me and I'm telling you I don't I'm not hungry I don't want the food then it's like what are you out here complaining for you keep saying black lives matter so if you get a Caucasian person to come out there and help you why send them away what is your point and what is your purpose see your purpose is just to be a mess starter you're just you're Satan's child and you know it I don't care who you are I say what I want and I say it how I want and we're going to touch on a lot of topics this is just one but we have to fix this system we have to actually break it we have to find some type of virus and if we keep on being one sided it's not going to work and uh, yeah, just keep subscribing. It's gonna get real and real. I'm gonna talk about everything. I'm gonna talk about uh, me not rapping, me not hooping. I might rap, I might hoop. Uh, I'm gonna talk about my wife, relationships, women. This is just my point of views. I'm not saying I'm God or nothing, but somebody has to be the rational one. And I go across all these videos and, you know, seeing these people die like that, even the animals, you know, they just woke a sleeping giant, you know, and I, I'm not going to sleep easy. I'm not going back to sleep easy, you know, so y'all subscribe. You, I appreciate everything, all the comments, especially if it's positive, keep them coming, keep sharing it. Um, whatever y'all feel I need to talk about or y'all want to talk about, put it up. We read comments. We comment back to people. Uh, me and my wife, she's going to be in the video sometime. She's the one... Uh, narrating the, the the stories and things like that i'm just giving my opinions and she's the one asking the questions and things like that and it'll be vice versa you know just stay tuned it, we need positivity we need to change as people and i'm gonna show y'all you know how to do it and if you have any in input i'll take that too because i'm a wise man i listen more than i talk but i've been listening for 29 years and it's time for me to talk so you know, just stay tuned.